in this video uh, we we would do some examples on the uh, on the, the things we have learned okay so uh, what i would recommend is uh, you just pause the video when i uh, announce the problem statement and then do it by your, yourself and uh, then you can play it again and check the solution okay so we would uh, continue with our first example to uh, count number of digits in an integer okay so uh, like uh, there is some integer or a number given okay suppose 1 2 3 4 so i have to count the number of digits in the number so uh, let's code for that so i'll, I'll write the main function and inside the main function uh, there is a number uh, and suppose that number is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay now uh, i'll declare a count i'll declare a count and in at every loop i'll increase the count by 1 okay so count is equals to 0 at the start so uh, what is the basic logic behind this like we have to use loop and iterate the loop until uh, some some condition or something is evaluated to false okay so uh, i i can use while loop i can use any loop in this but uh, i'll i'll use while loop okay so uh, and counting of digit okay so at every tens place there is a new digit every tens hundred place so when I divide the number by 10 so the number of digits get reduced by 1 okay and uh, uh, when I divide by 10 divided by 10 uh, there is no decimal uh, uh, anything taking place because the number is integer okay so when I divide 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 by uh, 10 the answer is 1 2 3 4 5 6 not 1 2 3 4 5 6 point five seven. okay so i'll use while loop and the condition would be number uh, not equal to 0 okay so while the number is not equal to 0 i'll i'll divide the number by 10 and store it in number or num and i'll increase the count okay so uh, what happens here is after first iteration num will be divided by 10 and its value will be uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 then the count is incremented to 1 after the second iteration the value num would be um, 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, the th that is incremented to to after the third iteration the number would be incremented to 1 2 3 4 and so on so after the uh, seventh iteration the number would be increment after the sixth iteration number would be incremented to one number would be uh, one and the count is incremented to uh, six and again at the seventh iteration the in count is incremented to seven and the num becomes zero so again when when uh, then then the test expression is evaluated to false and the loop terminates okay so i can write a print statement here mm, number of digits in num is or i can say in num is count okay so when i run this program the answer the or the output should be uh, 7 so let's see okay 
so the number of digits in zero now why it is showing zero here because we have uh, done all the calculation and num we have divided num by 10 and so on and then num becomes zero so what i'll do is i'll change here i'll uh, take a value number that would be equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it is the input and then i'll uh, introduce a variable num that would be equal to our number okay and now here i can do number now when i run this program i can see that it works on pretty well the number of digit in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 is 7 okay moving forward uh, in the next example we would write a kotlin program to reverse a number okay so uh, what i should do for reversing a number for reversing a number uh, i can do is what i can do is i can uh, introduce a lot of variables okay so it is not a, a right choice because we don't know the uh, count of count uh, the the number of digits in the in the integer okay so uh, what would we do is uh, we would first like uh, when we divide the number by 10 okay so the remainder the remainder we get is like when we divide 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 by 10 so the remainder is 7 here okay when we divide it by 10 so uh, like this is the this must be this would be the first digit of the reverse number so let's go ahead and think as we code so there is a variable number this which is the output uh, which is the input let's say it's 1 2 3 4 okay so then i'll in uh, introduce a variable num which is equals to the number now uh, i'll increase a variable reversed and for now it is zero okay so i'll introduce a while loop while uh, num is not equal to zero okay now uh, i'll introduce a value a variable digit okay and digit this digit is equals to uh, num uh, this digit is equals to the remainder when num num is divided by 10 okay now this is the uh, last digit or the four in in the first iteration so uh, the reverse number the reverse number would be equals to the old reverse number which is zero for now okay into 10 into 10 and plus the digit so now when we come to the second iteration so the old reverse number is multiplied to 10 and shifted one bit uh, left side and then the digit is added okay so for, from this the number could be reversed and uh, at the end i divide the number by 10 okay so it helps in like when in the next iteration okay so i'll just explain this code once again uh, in this program while loop is used to reverse a number as given uh, as uh, i'll say uh, first the remainder of num divided by 10 is stored in the variable digit now digit contains the last digit of num that is 4 then uh, the digit is uh, added to the variable reversed after multiplying it by 10 so multiplication by 10 adds a new place in the reverse number one place multiplied by 10 gives you 10th place okay so 10th place gives you 100 and so on so in this case uh, reverse contains 0 into 10 plus 4 equals to 4 so num is then divided by 10 so that now it contains the first three digit that is 1 2 3 after second iteration digit equals to 3 
reverse equals to 4 into 10 plus 3 43 and num is equals to 12 after third iteration the digit equals to 2 okay and reverse equals to 43 into 10 plus 2 that is 432 and num is equals to 1 and after the fourth iteration uh, the digit equals to 1 reverse equals to 4 and 432 into 10 plus 1 that is 4321 and num is equals to 0 now as num equals to 0 the test expression fails and while loop exists exits and reverse reverse already contains the reverse number that is 4231 okay so before running this program i'll write a print statement print the reverse number is okay now when i run this program i can see that the reverse number is 4231 okay so this is all for this video stay connected